Hey guys, what's going on? It's Simon of One Thousand Nine, and welcome everyone back to a Minecraft video, and welcome everyone to my Minecraft single player world. Now I'm gonna do a single player series using the Heroes expansion mod soon. Give me time, guys. But I'm also gonna be doing right now a, a bit of a showcase with the Heroes expansion mod, how to make the Infinity Gauntlet. Someone messaged me on Twitter. I was going through old Twitter messages. It's been about, I think, I don't know, a couple weeks. I've got my phone here, so we'll check it out. Um, I've been messaging people on Discord, because I can annoy the hell out of them. But one of you guys said, how do I make the Infinity Gauntlet? I had the Heroes expansion mod, but I actually can't make the Infinity Gauntlet, because there is a reason to that. So let me see. The last video I uploaded, guys, was about a month ago. So oh, not a month ago. Yeah, a month ago. A month ago, so I am sorry about my uploads. I know I'm a bit lazy right now, but I'm gonna get back into the routine of making a Minecraft video because I can play Minecraft now on my new computer. Sweet! But one of you guys said, I've got the Infinity Gauntlet cast, but I can't make the Infinity Gauntlet. Why not? Reason consisting, there is a specific mod you do require for this, and it is the Tinker's Construct mod, because without the Tinker's Construct mod, you can't make the Infinity Gauntlet. Um, I will recommend, guys, that you do get the Tesseract before or while or do it whenever you want but i do recommend for me i always try to get it before i make the cast now i made recently just made the stormbreaker so the stormbreaker uses a specific material called ura have no idea what it is but i still got kryptonian fossils but how to do it so we this is my normal single player world this is just my fun world testing it out and all that and as you guys can see I've been busy. This is an Infinity Generator, I have no idea what the fuck it's supposed to do, but it's powering off a Tesseract, so and it's just creating a big giant blue beacon. Um, but if I go up, this is where I keep my portal device, which I use for invasions to gain materials. I do recommend if you guys want to gain materials, I recommend doing, um, like if you want the Chira gun, their power source, um, get it. So, to create the Infinity Gauntlet cast, you specifically need one specific type of alloy. Um, so I'm gonna go down to the Tinker's room. Maybe make it a bit wider when I'm done. Uh, so you want uh, Molten Gold Trinium Alloy. You need this in order to make, in order to make the Infinity Gauntlet. So, if I don't have enough right now, it takes, I don't even, you can create it easily, so if I go, so this is Infinity Gauntlet, we'll want to go there, you need Molten Gold, but if you want um, that, you can actually create it using uh, dust. To make the Gold Trinium Alloy Dust, you do need a Gold Dust and Titanium Dust. Now, to get them, you do need a Hammer. Get some titanium and a hammer, and boom, you can smash it out into a titanium dust as well as a gold dust. Oh, are you kidding me? I don't have any more. I really don't like... I recently wasn't creative because I was looking for things, but um, I don't like going into creative. Uh, especially on this world. Um, so... We're going to put this in here. Now, if you're like me who hunts down the Tesseract. Now, i got to say this, guys. It's not very specific of where the Tesseract is found. So if you go to a north village, look behind the world tree. Um, it says look behind the world tree. I actually spawned both of my Tesseracts in. Um, I'm going to spawn another one in because I like keeping a Tesseract to myself. The best thing about a Tesseract is, if you guys look at it, it looks cool! And ready, if I press Q, it drops like an object. Now if you right click it, you pick it back up. And in the same hand. But if you left click it... Uh, kapoom! Hello to the Space Stone. Now I've already got the achievement, but the achievement you would get for the Space Stone... ...is break the Tesseract. Now, I do want to say this. Find kryptonite. I need a fine kryptonite. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I'm... 
I need to create the basic one. Um, with the uh, now to get the aether, you actually have to get the other infinity stones. Some of the other infinity stones put into add-on packs. So if you get the add-on packs, basically you download them. There'll be a zip file. Now I'm gonna open up my um. App percent data. Now mine's already set to default because I use it quite a lot, literally quite a lot. Now it's loading because I have two opening. Uh, I'll just say the one. Do so you want to press OK for me? Pes do percent app data percent. Go away. I've broken my computer now. It's slow. It's being boring, it's weird, it's slow, I don't know why, but that would take a little bit to open since this is the first folder I've opened since I've waken up my computer, um, which is really bad. I woke up my computer and went straight onto Minecraft. Um, so, you go into there and you go into the minecraft.minecraft folder, then you go into where it says add-on packs after you play the Heroes Bench, drag the folder in, and boom, you're done. Now, I don't actually have add-on packs in here. Okay, so I'm going to change this side to that side, so we can put this into there. There you go, it's opening. Um... Okay, now my Minecraft is no longer responding. Maybe because the folder opened, so I'm going to quickly just pause that. My spidey sense keeps going off because there's a xenomorph somewhere. So basically, like I said, you want to go into the .minecraft folder in the roaming f folder. Or go into .minecraft. Now, mine's still working on it, so you got all this. Once you play Heroes Expansion Pack, once this will appear, you double-click on this. Now, for me, it can be completely empty. No ad Actually, there might be one thing in it, maybe? Yeah, there's one item, maybe? I don't know. Um, but my add-on pack that I use to get the ether, which is actually on my other computer, which is actually on my bed at the time being. So you got this, which is that's the only thing you get, quite literally. Okay, so this needs like 6,000 MBs to use, so this will take a while, so as you guys can see, it's going. This won't take long to like, make the infinity on, you got the space stone, you're set. Now, Suit wise, um, depending on what you see, Thanos doesn't really have much you can really use. Uh, there is a speedster mod, and the speedster mod works with. Um, but uh, one of you guys did ask me, how do you make some of these injections? Because, like, like they say, it's a bit difficult. So, to make a. I know how to make a Kryptonian and a Kree blood. Uh, for Kree and Kryptonian, like. Literally, I could actually make... Okay, I got 10. I should have 10. Let's make 10. So, let's get to it and make some 10. I have heaps of 10. I don't have a hammer, I think. I do have a hammer. So, to make a plate, um, because we're gonna, we're gonna... I'm just gonna demonstrate how to create the Kryptonian blood. Which is pretty cool. Um, sweet. So you kind of need like four in total to make it. Um, you need a silver nugget. Sweet. Where is my silver? I even have silver. I do. And two iron. Iron. Um, so we put silver in there. As you guys can see, I've been a bit busy. Okay, so basically to make the um. Kryptonian. I've got Kryptonian fossil, but I do need buckets of water. Which is a bit annoying, um, because I'm constantly running out non-stop to get what I want. Um, that's the only way to work these things. Now, where's my Kryptonian fossils? There it is. So I only technically need one. Um, I would sleep through the night, like I normally do. I want to work through it. I'm always afraid that there's a xenomorph up here. These animals always normally have it in for me. I don't know why. I think well, yesterday I started the world uh, a couple days ago, and 
I come outside and then boom, there's a freaking Xenomorph Praetorian there, a drone, they're all attacking me. I haven't seen a queen yet, which is good. I don't want to see a queen. Okay, so basically you need to use, I believe it was called, the boiler. Nope, the extractor. So this is what the extractor looks like. Basically, you want to put a bunch of water in there. Now that's a bit of water. Um, you put a Kryptonian fossil there, and then you put this. Should work that way, I believe. And it doesn't have power. Damn it. Don't have power. Huh. I wonder. I really wonder. There's a Xenomorph somewhere. I really don't know where it is. Now, the perks of being like a Spider-Man like me, um, you get the wall climb out walls, you get super speed, super jump, uh, you get five extra hearts, quite literally, that's why in team, because I get golden hearts. Haha! Uh. -ha! Apparently, take water out. Sweet. So I'll put it on the infinity generator because it's just an infinite amount of power to it. There we go. We got injection and kryptonite. So we could literally become Superman right now. I could literally become Superman. If you want power, create that thing because it's literally infinite and put a Tesseract in it. Unless you're like me who literally just goes hunting for the goddamn Tesseract. Now, to get, um, see, Infinity's Gauntlet. So, basically, this is what the Gauntlet looks like. You can see it even has the little spots there. So, you want to right-click it, right-click that, and boom, you've got it. Now, you want to go like that, because you literally can use, like, different abilities. I won't use them. I don't even know what they do. But that's basically how to make the Infinity Gauntlet. Now, to make a lot of the other stuff, like all these uh, equipments... Vibranium shield's a bit hard to make, and we're going to create that as well. So, where is my vibranium? There it is! Now, to get vibranium, guys, the way I got it was finding crash Kree ships. So, when you... Uh, the normal Minecraft command for 1.7.10 is called locate. Now, naturally, you can only do so many steps. So, you can do crash shipped and Mon uh, North Village, which are two of the modded ones. Crashed Tree Ship leads you to Crashed Trees. They might even be there. You can kill them. You can get the the Cree Flesh. Um, question. I should have Cree Flesh. I must have burnt it. Come on! So for the time being, I'm just going to give myself a... Uh, give me an ejection. I really don't know how to create the Black Panther one. I really don't. Um, and I can type up flesh. This way we can, I don't know, uh, say infinite power. Okay, where's my hammer? I don't know where I put the fucking hammer. So, in order to create the Vibranium Shield... You kind of need like eight of these, so that's like... Say that? And if I put these out, you use eight ingots both sides, and then you get like eight plates. Which is a bit complicated. But then you can get yourself a vibranium shield, which is called which gives you the achievement frisbee. Now this does like at least ten attack damage. I don't know how to get the Captain America shield though. I wonder if you have to like color it or something. Now the Wakanda shield's a bit different, which is more complicated. I'm gonna make a piston. God damn it. Uh, 
let's use four. I don't have any wood. Fuck. I need to go get wood. You know, one thing I hate hearing is that Enderman. The best thing is that where I live, I have like millions of trees near me. Whee! By the way, just to also let you guys know, I think I should have a waypoint and I'll probably teleport to it soon. Uh, a waypoint that leads me to where, um, I think it was the North Village. You can actually kind of find loot in the top of the village. They're like really cool looking big buildings. If any of you guys are wondering, I have ways of getting things like super ores, because why not? I actually had quite a lot of super ores. Uh, to create a Wakanda shield, you need that, that, and that. So I need to create another hammer, which to create another hammer, you do need at least five iron and two sticks. Now create a hammer, which is a bit complicated. You do it this way instead, and then you do it like a helmet, but the opposite way. I need five. It's painful. Do you know how painful this is? Is when you have when I'm going into creative nonstop because I have no choice. I don't have the materials on me. It'll take forever, and this is more of a showcase, people, on how to make the goddamn thing. And that gives you the Wakanda shield. So this is like twelve damage. This thing gives you more damage than the other shield. But this shield even looks even cooler. It actually looks like a weapon instead. Now, the Trephoria guns, they're a bit harder to make, but you can actually get one drop from one of the creatures out there. You can't actually make these, you need them. Finding the Kree Battle Axe is pretty fun as well. Now, you can find like random materials. Oh, it's not always guaranteed to give it to me. Damn it. But that's really how you create the Infinity Gauntlet. Um, if you're someone who's like me, um, who's going to strip down. By the way, I'm wearing an Azula skin. If everyone's wondering why I'm wearing a weird skin, is because it's um, Halloween. It is the month of Halloween. I saw an Enderman. You know, when my spidey sense goes off, you can see an Enderman on the wall. But yeah, that's really how you create the Infinity Gauntlet. Putting on the suit made me laggy. I'll take off my suit. Actually, I think I might know what's lagging. Uh, now, other than in the Heroes expansion mod, most of them being Marvel characters. The rest of them, are, some of them are actually DC, like Superman and da -da 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 -da, Green Arrow. So you can actually create Green Arrow stuff, different quivers, different bows. Oh, different arrows, I should say, not bows. No offense, but I need to get iron armor off my thing. I think that makes it better. Yep, that makes it even better. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this mod showcase. Now, let me guys in the description down below what you guys want to see me do next. I'm also thinking about starting a Pixelmon series on the Poke Central server. Um, just a Let's Play series um, on the Crystal Lobby specifically the crystal server lobby um so if you guys want to join me just join on that the in the link description down below will be a link to my discord server so if you guys want to join me on my discord server but anyway guys i hope you guys have enjoyed the video see you guys later take care goodbye everyone